Oops. Regis. Ah, there you... Tesham Mutna. It is a place of torment, a torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Teshem Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, Dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mutna, take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? <sighs> Blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies... An ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. How the hell? It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once. Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. 
This was the first place we saw. Human husbandry and care? This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior, over the many years he spent breeding them. Morally suspect though it may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. It's not far now, Geralt. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have breathed their last here. Symbols of uh, what you would call tribes, dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us of where we came from. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet, those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library.
indeed. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garrison. My tribe, and Detlaf's. We both remained in this part of the world. Excruciatingly so, this particular page from our history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. Whose is this glyph? I'm a runner. They ventured beyond the sea. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock, live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time, deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. certainly hope so. The stench is so thick, I wager it carries clear to no ground.
bait set. But now, I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm me down. Somehow. Please go. You won't be able to. We must force through this. That is all. Set. But now, maybe we need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what? If you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm it down. Somehow. Please. You won't be able to. Mm -hmm. Just stop the blood. finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you.
any better. Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better, thank you. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Deadlaugh some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. <sighs> if I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count. Sir, you were next. Please take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down, or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlam? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. 
His death did not come easy. Seems Dedlaf had made friends with him. Still killed him. Chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury. Remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm. Interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlef first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlef. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. All clear now. Did you manage it? Not yet, but stay away from there for now. Oh, fate's a bitch gone in the teeth. Where am I to find another cave as snug as that?
sweat dripping down my bum furrow. Is it over? All clear now? Yeah. All... Ha! <laughs> and four call witches lay about. Storehouse will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut it. Not from around here. Nay, from Povis we are. Wandered south for the climb before the first war. Chills up north were giving me wifey lump. So long. Uh, I've sweat uh. dripping. Watch your flin flinging step. Ah, good to see. What you got on? So long. down my bum burrow. Come on. Giddy up. Work on no play, Shit. right, Witcher? I've three doublets, none of which are suited when you show myself there. Rusty armor. All the remains of the last thrill seeker to make it out here. Holt, master. A beast lurks in there. Right. Expected as much, cause I... Shh! Quiet! Before you wake it. Come. I've camped nearby. We shall talk there. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Francois Le Goff, I presume. 
Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... Well, indeed, for... For... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Takes two weeks, that? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I, I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor! Strange. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Cradle filled with children's shoes. And I've ever seen a collection of this grotesque. Bones. Small skull. Fontanelle's not completely closed. Infant. About a year, maybe. They speak the truth about the villages. The torrent consumes things. Various sundries, some tools. Retore must have taken them from its victims.
by my troth. The damned brute was sturdy. I... I'm grateful, Witcher. You ate at me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Ugh. It's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another for two years. So I bowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, uh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine, while... Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels... All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Want to prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. Run, Roach. Shit. Work doth 
one no Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Hmm. Not sure these nuptials are a great idea. What? I beg your pardon? Young Master Legoff. Well, he wasn't exactly raring to get hitched. Seems to me you two should re- Well, I never. The nerve. Not another word. Take your coin. Leave us be. <laughs> Greetings. Geralt, there you are. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that in fact. Some other details are off too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. Can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it. I would. Huh. <laughs> As special as it is, that's still not a problem. Come back when you do. Though I wonder what for. Oh! I would oh. hate to come off as impertinent, but was it of you who won the Grammy? What a day. Massacre at the estate of Durand de Savarin. Elven statues come to life to slaughter members of the history of Toussaint Friends Society. Citizens, beware of history and elves alike, and stones, <laughs> hewn or otherwise. Reginald Aubrey has returned, not to be missed. Buy your tickets now. Can't believe I'm actually doing this.
The Duchess summoned him. to push. Just yesterday, they were fighting like cats, and today, they're in business. Renovations coming. You ought to be the final judge of that, sir. Yet, in my humble opinion, they are progressing splendidly. Starting to really like. As you wish, sir. Feels like by... I agree thoroughly. If you don't mind... Of course, sir, as you wish. Starting to get... With the utmost respect. Feels like... I agree thoroughly. Could use another... I know of a carpentry shop. Fine. Of course, at once. Is there anything... Along the path? I agree. It... Yes. It goes without saying, sir. There is nothing worse than splendid... By this time tomorrow, they shall... Is there anything... Feels like... With the utmost respect, sir. The vineyard has arrived at the pinnacle of perfection. Thanks. I thank you. Mm, so tasty. Oh. Don't the same wine, wine, no crack smuggling wine. It's enough to drive you petty. Never ever trust a woman, remember that? <clears throat>
Ah. Oh, light rain keeps the roads indoors. Any last words? Spread out! Do it! Don't enjoy being tricked. Tricked? I only said my house was haunted. I could not know it was hunters. Mm hmm. Except the hunters knew exactly who they were waiting for. Reeks of a trap to me. Very well. Perhaps I've not been completely candid, especially as I've no gold for the reward either. Which does not mean you shall walk away empty-handed. Here, a key to a treasure. There are three in all. Follow the hunters to find the other two. I must... Rain keeps the roads indoors. What have we here? The tourney's champion! Oh, yes, the Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought, with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed, and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sepramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we've course to open it today. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. 
In this regard, Baron Rossell was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Hmm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I got it short. Yes. Yes, of suffering. You know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. Don't fear life. Don't fear the world. Don't fear others. Won't be easy after all these years, I know. But believe me, you belong among them. But I've... No one out there. Your family's gone. Doesn't mean you won't meet someone new, grow to love them. You really think so? I'm sure of it. In that case, I thank you once more for your hospitality. For everything. Live well and prosper. Everything will work out. You'll see. Farewell.
Stocks and the whip await right. those running Things riot. Fly. Our dochi values peace and quiet. Might we speak? Patrolling on an empty stomach. Oof. Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the... Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on, then. Spit it out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm so... I expect deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bobo. Listen, friend. There's an enormous difference between us, but it's not about status. It's about me having two swords on my back, and you having none. So I'll call you whatever I want, and you either deal with that or solve your monster problem yourself. The call. I shall file a complaint with your guilt. Mm-hmm. Make sure you address it to customer service. Care Morin, Kedwin. Now talk, before I change my mind and go. Nautlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil, then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night. Just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Who's disappeared? Hmm. Most recently some... Despite the vast difference in social state. No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me. Depends. How, how much? Come now, be re- Come now, be re- Hmm... Fine. Fine, I'll do it. Need to look around here. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key- Look around. Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe? Rats. Not known to kidnap farmhands. What the?
goes on and on this tunnel. through. 